create a cozy nest of easy-to-make bolster pillows and custom-fitted sheets for your van. Here's an easy one. Using a regular pillowcase, take a thermal rest or even a rolled up coat or blanket. Um, could be clothing that you're not using all the time. Stuff it in the pillowcase, leaving excess on each end to tie a string around. And voila! I saw this knit tube of fabric at a local fabric store and thought it would be fabulous for um, my long mattress cover. So I'm, I'm, I measured the length of the mattresses plus the end plus the overlap and um, just cut it to length and added Velcro. I used the pillowcases from this store-bought fleece sheet set. I'll be using the sheets for later projects. Put the sleeping bag in the pillowcase and measure where the seam should be. Pause here on this graphic for the pattern. I didn't put dimensions because yours may be different from mine. Turn the pillowcase inside out and mark the seam. Using a simple straight stitch on a sewing machine, by hand, adhesive seam liquid or tape, stitch from the back of the case to the front. Make a straight stitch a half inch from the existing seam around the perimeter of the opening. Attach a safety pin to the end of a string or ribbon and pull through the half inch tunnel. Return the case to outside out and stuff the sleeping bag in it. Cinch the drawstring and tie knots in the ends of the string. Now you have a useful bolster and a sleeping bag when you need one. These are breathable mattresses. Check out my other video on that. I've cut one of them in half to create the center bed cushions, which can also be used as backrests when sitting up in bench seat mode. I got this flannel plaid fabric to make covers which can be removed and washed. Measuring the cushions, I allowed for a half inch seam allowance. Pause here to study the pattern. Take a screenshot or print if you need to. Folding the corner at a 45 degree angle, I brought together A and B and stitched it to create a corner. I'm making a top and bottom, each with four corners. Putting right sides together, they will be joined, leaving an opening for Velcro or a zipper. I'm using Velcro. And this is what they look like. Finished, very comfy. I've got my paint studio set back up, but I forgot to film everything I needed to about making the sheets. So, a few things I want to point out. These were store-bought sheets. I cut them in half, and this, was the, this is the bottom fitted sheet. So, over here, Nothing has been done to this side, okay? It's just got the elastic in it, um, comes around. Doesn't fit perfectly, but you know what? We're camping. Right here, I mean, if you wanted to make a dart to take up that excess, right there you can. Of course, a regular mattress is deeper than this five inch um, mattress that I have here. Now, so I cut it down the middle. And on this side, I don't have any elastic right here. I just cut it. Uh, you can do this with uh, this type of, of fuzzy fabric. I love that. Uh, this right here, I got this corner untied. 
Okay, so when I cut it, this is where the cut ends. Okay, so it comes the width. Really, it's just about making the pocket long enough to cinch it back together. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, so see how that just pulls together? And of course, with two hands, I'll pull this even tighter and then up, tie it back in a bow. But then you've got this little corner that will fit right over um, the corner of the mattress. Very low tech, very easy. These sheets are just gonna be, you know, sheets that we take off and on. I'm gonna make summer sheets. This is my latest find, an electric blanket. So I found a fuzzy matching electric blanket. It's looking cozy in here. King size bed. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to learn to draw and paint, visit my sister channel, Arts Express. I'll have uh, information listed below. Thank you.